We are barely into October. It's not Halloween yet. It's not close to Thanksgiving and it's nowhere near Christmas, but it's time for Christmas already. Don't know what I'm talking about? Stay tuned and find out. You don't want to miss this. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So let's jump right in here why at the beginning of October is it already time for Christmas? Actually, it's a little bit late, and that's because it is time for Advent calendars. Look, every year when I do Vlogmas, I have people tell me, please tell us ahead of time about the Advent calendars when they come available, because I always buy Advent calendars. They're included in Vlogmas. We open the little doors every day. And I tell people, you have to buy those things back in September or October. That's when they come available and they tend to sell out pretty quickly, especially the best ones. So don't say you haven't been warned. I already made a community post about this and now I'm making a whole video about it because I want you guys not to miss out. I've scoured the internet for a variety of Advent calendars. I have found the best ones and I've organized them into to different categories for you. So I have candies and chocolates and other edible treats, candles, tea, alcohol, and a few beauty ones. I'm really not the beauty guru here since I'm not a makeup and product person. There's one with home items and we will end with advent calendars for pets because they like to be included. They like treats and toys. Let me rephrase, they require treats and toys. Let's get started with the most beautiful and unique advent calendar I have seen so far this year. And that, let me scoot over, is this one from Sugarfina. And this is in the shape of a carousel. It has wooden pieces. I'm not sure if the whole thing is wooden or if it's just the little carousel animals. This can be reused and it's so, so pretty. It also lights up. And at the time I'm filming this, you can get 10% cash back from Rakuten. I will have that information linked below. And of course, all of these advent calendars will also be linked below. And Sugarfina has also released their traditional calendar if you don't want to go the fancier carousel route, so you can pick that up as well. I've done that one in a few of my Vlogmases and it's pretty great. I'm seeing two advent calendars from Godiva if you love their chocolates. There's their regular chocolates one and then there's also one with their truffles. It's a little fancier, but we're fancy people over on this channel, right? So if Godiva is your thing or if you know somebody for whom Godiva is their thing, these could be a great gift. Remember to think about other people because it's Christmas, guys. I love buying advent calendars for other people because then they get a present every day. It's more fun than just the one present on Christmas itself. A few more nice looking chocolate advent calendars include Compart Gourmet Chocolates and Charbonnel and Walker. I'm probably not pronouncing either of those correctly. Please forgive me. If you need a gluten-free chocolate option, Venchi offers two of them, which I think is pretty fabulous for the gluten-free people out there. You don't have to miss out on your chocolate advent calendar. There's also also one from Tony's Chocolonely. I have not tried these chocolates yet, but Gwenny of Styled by Gwenny recently mentioned these chocolates on her channel and raved about them. So this is one of the calendars that I bought for Vlogmas this year. If you'd like to join me and open up a calendar with me, that would be a great one. It's not expensive and it's linked below. Lint has several different chocolate advent calendars to choose from. They have several with their little Lint bears and there's one with Lint truffles. I also found I have never seen a calendar with this before. You know those gummy multivitamins? I take those every day because I don't like swallowing the giant pills. Well, there's a multivitamin gummy advent calendar. That's interesting for the health nut out there. And the same company has two other calendars that I saw. One of them are gummies that are supposed to help you sleep better. And then the other one I'll tell you about in another category in a minute. And wait till you hear what that one's about because it is interesting. It's a little weird. Stick around. Besides chocolate and candy, you can also get water Walker's shortbreads, those are delicious. Or Bon Maman jams. That's one of the calendars I did last year. I thought they were.
were great, but I found like several of the food advent calendars that I get that aren't candy, and even the ones that are candy, I get a little tired of having that food every single day, especially if it's not something I usually eat every single day. Like jam, you have to put that on a scone or on toast or something, and I don't usually have those things for breakfast. So I still have about six of those little jars in the pantry almost a year later, but that's okay. They're still good. You can open these things every day. You don't have to eat them every day. One calendar I have been looking for, I was looking for one last year and didn't find the perfect one, and one of these may be it is one with popcorn. This one has popcorn and chocolates, so you get a little variety there. And this one has popcorn and then different seasonings, so you don't have popcorn that you eat every day. It's like popcorn and popcorn accessories, which is also really nice. And then this one, this one has flavored marshmallows, which personally just aren't my thing, but other people like marshmallows. There's some odd flavors in here, I have to tell you, so if you go look at this one, make sure you read the description because it tells you the flavors. I thought, you know, I love having hot chocolate during Vlogmas, my Williams-Sonoma hot chocolate. We will get to that in a second. And I thought, oh, a marshmallow calendar, that could be great to put in my hot chocolate every day. Not this one, not for me. I need just a plain marshmallow. This one, read the description. It's interesting. Now, speaking of the Williams-Sonoma hot chocolate, I just checked the Williams Sonoma website and they do already have their hot chocolate available. In my recollection, it's usually available a little later in the year, but it is there now. Be careful if you see the red tin of hot chocolate that's $45. That's a giant tin. It is not the regular sized one, so don't think that they've just doubled the price on those. And they have different flavors. They have the regular chocolate, which we get, and the peppermint, which is my favorite. I don't see the hazelnut, which I had last year and fell in love with. I didn't like it at first, but I grew to really love it, and I wanted to get more this year, but it's not on the website yet. They also have a classic, but a semi-sweet. They have a dark chocolate. I feel like maybe something else, but they're available. They also have the peppermint bark on the website already, which is another of my favorite Christmas treats and a fabulous gift as is the hot chocolate. By the way, their hot chocolate, if you're not familiar, is shaved chocolate. It's not that powdered junk. It is worth every penny, let me tell you, and make it with whole milk. Don't skimp on the milk. If you're gonna have this stuff, pure shaved chocolate, expensive, do it right. Do it with the whole milk, do it with the whipped cream, some chocolate sprinkles on top, treat yourself. And speaking of the peppermint bark, they have a peppermint bark advent calendar. What a fabulous gift. If someone wants to send that to me, you can't, because I don't have an address that I share, but I appreciate the thought. If you have a gourmet foodie person that you're buying for, or if you are that person, William Sonoma has a luxury advent calendar with little sample sizes of some of their wonderful gourmet foods. It's pricey, let me warn you. It's one I would like to get, but I haven't been willing to pay that much for it, but maybe you would, so I'm letting you know. Now this next one I think is a fabulous gift, and I will very likely buy one of these for Vlogmas. This is advent calendars where you get Get a new candle each day. I have a few options for you. Apothique? Apotheke? I don't know. They have one with 12 candles and breaking the price down it comes out to about eight dollars a candle. Not bad. Now these are small candles. And then Voluspa. You've probably heard of them. They're sold at Nordstrom. I have never really looked into these but this is the calendar I may get. They have a few different options. There's one box that has six candles. It's not technically an advent calendar. It's just a little set. That comes out to fourteen dollars a candle. And then they have an actual advent calendar that has 12 candles. You know some advent calendars are 12 some are 24, some are 25. And that one comes out to $13 a candle. That's the one I'm thinking about getting. You can go there and read the list of all the different scents and they sound wonderful. A calendar I've done before, a few years ago for Vlogmas, was one with a different tea each day. I still have some of those. I still haven't finished all of them. There are lots of tea calendars. Here are a couple of the best that I found. One is Palais du Thé, one is Kusmi Tea, and one is called Tea Pigs. Yes, Tea Pigs. Now, now, if you want something a little stronger than tea, you have lots of options in the alcohol category. Last year I got a whiskey calendar that turned out to be mostly scotch whiskey, and I didn't realize that and it turns out I don't like scotch. So this year, I would like to get another whiskey calendar, but I wanna be more careful about reading about it first. I would like whiskey and bourbon, and I probably will look for a calendar that's all American whiskeys and bourbons because I'm familiar with those and I know I like them. I haven't found just the right one yet, but here are a few options for you. Here's one with tequila and mezcal. Here are two different gin options. Here's one with Johnny Walker whiskeys. 
those are Scotch whiskeys, or just Scotch, as I was told by some Scottish people. But here we call them Scotch whiskey. Here's one, if you're not that fancy, maybe I'm stereotyping people here, apologies. Here's one with beer and pork cracklins. And then if you like those little chocolate bottles that are filled with whiskey, there's an advent calendar for those. I bought some of those last year, but I didn't see an advent calendar, so that's nice. All right, on to the beauty calendar. Now you may know the luxury brands like Dior or Jo Malone or Chanel last year. They have beauty calendars with beauty products, perfumes, candles, it depends. I have not seen those offered for sale yet. When you do see them for sale, they sell out very, very quickly. But here's some that are still available. Here's one from Aqua de Parma. That one looks really good. The Charlotte Tilbury calendar is always very popular. It's already sold out on Saks. I don't know if they'll restock that, but I will check and if they do have it available again, I'll link it below. Otherwise, I'll have another link for you. YSL has a beauty calendar that's available. Balmain. I thought they only made clothing. That goes to show what I know, I guess. Kiehl's Beauty has an advent calendar. And here's the weird one I was telling you about earlier from that gummy vitamin company. Company. They have gummy vitamins for beauty. Now I am tempted to get this one because I think we should get it and document my progress over the course of Vlogmas as I take the vitamin every day. And then at the end, we'll do a comparison from how I looked on day one versus how I looked on day 24, 25 and see how much more beautiful I got. Does that sound like a plan? What do you think? What could be in those? I have no idea. Now the home calendar is by Wedgwood. This is probably the priciest calendar I have on the list. It is definitely a luxury calendar. It has 24 mini Wedgwood porcelain ornaments in it. And it's a really pretty box. It's a house and you open up the door and it's lovely. So if you like Wedgwood, this could be a good gift for yourself or for someone else or for someone else to get for you. And now let's get to those pesky pets, the ones that require treats every day during Vlogmas and sit and stare at me and growl at me and sometimes bark at me because I'm going too slow. The dog treat calendar I got last year was this one with Himalayan dog treats. It was wonderful. That's definitely one I would recommend. It had several treats for each day. I think the minimum was three treats for each day. And I got one for each dog and they really enjoyed it. They're very crunchy. Those are great treats. And I'm particular about the treats that I give to my dogs and the food I give to them. So all of the calendars that I'm recommending here that involve food for animals are things that I would give my own pets. So there's that one. And then there's this one. This is the one that I have purchased for this current year for Vlogmas. This is by Lily's Kitchen and these are marketed as proper food for dogs. So they have good ingredients in them. And both of my dogs, they don't play with toys, but here's a dog toy calendar if your dog does if your dog is someone who would appreciate that. I also found these cat treats from Lily's Kitchen and this other calendar with cat treats and this calendar with cat toys. I know nothing about cats. I've heard they're pretty fickle. You should know your cat well enough to know what they like. But then again, I've heard you can't really get to know a cat. I don't know. Cat people, make your own decisions. Oh, and I forgot to mention this one really fabulous one also from William Sonoma. If you're into baking cookies or maybe you have a kid who's interested in baking cookies or this is something that you could do together. This calendar has a different cookie cutter each day. How fun is that? I know a kid who might like that, in fact, so I may pick this up for them. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed these. I hope you pick some up before they sell out. I'm afraid some of these may already be sold out by the time you see this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't say I didn't warn you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.